Hi Libra, it's L here to do your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Libra. Thank you Lord God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see, what is the energy for you this month, Libra? Okay, uh, judgment. All right, so an awakening, um, making a decision, a snap decision, coming to um, clarity about a certain thing, a person, a relationship, a partnership, business, a union. Um, maybe even a coming back together. You could be making a judgment about we, we're not reconciling or we're coming back together or something of that nature. But judgment is rendered, okay? And it's final here, the judgment part. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be um, judging what they're doing every day on a day-to-day -day basis their work ethic or lack thereof something about income and money um, you judging them based on that let's see what do you need to release this month Libra what does the Libra need to release the Knight of Cups okay so you need to release maybe Um, so the knights are still on conquest. They're still on a journey. Okay, they're still out conquering. So maybe you need to release this restless nature about yourself in terms of love. Maybe you need to even release some unrealistic expectations in love. It says that the knight of cups sometimes leaves a string of broken hearts because they're so... At, at the whim, at the sight of a flaw, a human error from their person, they're out the door. They're gone. They're done. They love being in love. And when the love stops, when the fantasy stops, so does the Knight of Cups. He's on to the new conquest. So maybe you need to release that restlessness about that you find with love or about love. Okay. Um, yeah. Maybe you just very you like the newness of love. You like falling in love here. Let's see what you need to reevaluate this month, Libra. It could be that you need to release Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or yeah, I don't know, something about maybe you making some judgment in terms of I don't know if it's on the best energy, if it's in the best energy, you know, the, the cups energy, I don't know. Um, we'll circle back around to that. Um, something to reevaluate. What does Libra need to reevaluate? The five of wands, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe some drama, some love affair, some petty argument. Maybe you need to reevaluate the competing goals uh, of maybe you and your partner um, or just all together in your life. You have too much going on. Uh, um, you aren't stable in terms of this relationship, in terms of this love affair. Uh, maybe you need to release this your childlike ways or childlike behavior, um, or or vice versa. This is what someone else needs to release. Um, or you need to release a person that is like this. Um, you need to release uh, the competition. Okay, love is not a competition. You know. Um, you need to release uh, all of these options that um, you you just keep a lot of drama and a lot of people around you, maybe to feed your ego. 
Um, it's a temporary energy. They're temporary people. You don't really want to be with them. Um, it just brings flair into your life. Drama. The dramatic effect. So some of you have a lot of... You like people fighting over you. You like a lot of attention. Something you've neglected. Something you've neglected. Something you've neglected. You also need to release... Like maybe some superficial ways about yourself and some okay this is what you need to release what you need to reevaluate is um yeah this competition and having all these different energies around you and you know it it lead lending to you know excitement drama and flair in your life but where is it really getting you you need to release the battle the the um Something that is competing for your attention or someone who is competing for your attention. It could even be a third party. The Knight of Cups here saying you need to, this is what you need to release. Some of you, um, you have some superficial uh, standards for your person, okay? And once they are not met or all of them are not met, you're out of love. You're done. Um, something that you've neglected. What have you neglected this month? What has Libra neglected this month? I knew this was coming up, the hermit card. Um, you have neglected quiet time, self-discovery, um, evaluating your own personal philosophy and one and and really determining if it's gotten you the outcome that you want. Are you getting the outcomes in your relationship, in your professional work life that you really want? You know, a lot of that is on you and how you show up to those arenas. Work, love. You need to re you need to um yeah, you need to reevaluate you yourself and um what you have neglected is quiet time, meditation, reflective time. Um you could have also neglect you have been neglecting a Virgo. Um, you have been neglecting to look at past experience and see where it, did, it didn't lend well to you in terms of what you did. And so you need to do the complete opposite moving forward. But you would only know that if you start to be more reflective. It's almost as if right now you're just a doer. You just do stuff and you only reflect when you're called to the table or, or called to the carpet or, or you're you know you you have to reflect it's almost as if you need to be made to reflect you um yeah you've neglected um evaluating your feelings some repressed feelings thoughts maybe the lies that you even tell yourself have they become true for you you've neglected just that whole subconscious conscious energy that we have within ourselves okay. um something to look forward to what do you have to look forward to Libra? very nice the star card um healing restoration getting back on the right path okay um if you got off the beaten path you're going to get back on it um yep you could do something with technology. You look forward to um, friend groups, uh, something to do with technology. You can look forward to new friends. You can look forward to wishes, hopes, and dreams uh, manifesting for you. Um, you can look forward to self-acceptance. The star card is really when you have gotten to a place of like, this is me. This is, I am me. I just, I love me, like, not just, oh, the superficial, I love me, but more so, like, every aspect, every facet of you, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it, it is you, it's what you have to offer, you accept it, no one can shake you in, in who you are and what you're made of, because... You're not denying yourself any longer. 
So you can look forward to getting into that energy. Okay. Um, you can look forward to getting a lot of attention with the star card. Maybe you have a platform or you'll be out somewhere or people will see you. Um, there's exposure here. Something that will help you this month. Let's see what will help my Libra. The death card, maybe a Scorpio. Um, Scorpio coming up heavy here. Um, if not a Scorpio, complete transformation of your foundation, especially for my masculine Libras. Um, and you'll know who you are. Look in your chart. See how much masculine energy you have in your chart. Because masculine does just it doesn't mean just man, men, but anyway. Um, but it could be, uh, especially for my masculine uh, Libras, um, letting some old paradigm in terms of your home life, your heart sector, in terms of a femininity, a mother and motherly energy, you're going to kind of let some old paradigm shift, die die out it has already been dying now it's at death's door and um you can just really release it here and transform that energy into something else maybe into something better it could also be that you're going to start living a healthier lifestyle whatever whatever that looks like for you in terms of where you eat drink where you go who you hang with what you listen to i don't know you know it just whatever it, you may deem healthier, okay? You may start to learn about yourself, take action, make plans, learn about uh, hidden knowledge, the esoteric divination, um, tarot. Um, you're really gonna shift. If, if there's some platform that you have, you're gonna let something end and you're gonna start something new, okay? So you're gonna change something foundational about your about um, what you're doing and this will help you because you're going to change something foundational okay um, you have a foundation change so what is stable what has been a constant in your life you may tweak it get rid of it altogether but this will help you this is what I have for you, Labor. I hope that the reading resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text the question to the number below. Get in on the new moon manifestation. If you want to bring in new energy, new love, new money, newness into your life, let's manifest corporately, okay? The link is below for you to manifest with like-minded individuals. Thank you, Libra. Many blessings to you. Take care.